A Christmas Collar, a Twinkle Original Story. It was Christmas Eve and Mila was out in the woods, walking her dog, Lumi. Wow, what's that? said Mila, as she saw something sparkling in the snow. Lying on the ground, in front of them was a collar. There was no name on it and no one to be seen for miles. Mila popped the collar around Lumi's neck to keep it safe until they could find the owner. That night, Mila was full of anticipation. She climbed into bed, wondering whether Christmas was just as exciting for dogs. Good night, buddy, she said, stroking Lumi's ears. Just as Lumi was drifting off into a gentle snooze, the room began to glow. I must be dreaming, she thought, opening her eyes, because it feels like I'm flying. Lumi rolled and wriggled all the way, lifting slowly into the air. The door flew open and she floated further and further out into the night sky. She whirled and wobbled as she moved closer to another figure gliding across the horizon. Lumi blinked in disbelief as, before she knew it, she was nose to nose with a reindeer. Jiggling jingles, gasped the reindeer in shock. I didn't know Santa let dogs do sleigh duty. Santa, sleigh, duty? replied a very confused Lumi. I should be at home, in bed. The reindeer laughed. We've got a lot of work to do before you can go back to bed, he said, as the magical collars guided them to the North Pole. When they arrived, Lumi gazed in wonder as she saw an enormous glimmering sleigh. More reindeer appeared from every direction. One by one, they all landed softly and headed over to the sleigh. Suddenly, beautiful golden reins magically appeared around Lumi and all the reindeer. Um, I think there may have been a mistake, she yelped, hoping someone would hear her as her feet lifted off the ground again. But it was no use. On they flew until they reached the house of the first child on Santa's list and landed gently on the roof. Santa delivered the gift and made his way back to the sleigh. As he passed his team of reindeer, he spotted something strange. Ho, ho, hold on a minute, said Santa. You're not Dasher. Er, uh, no, I'm Lumi, she said and told Santa the whole story of her surprising adventure. That's no ordinary collar your human found, chuckled Santa. All my reindeer wear these magical collars that call them into action on Christmas Eve. So where is Dasher? asked Blitzen. I think I know where to find her, said Lumi. After a quick sniff of the air, she knew which way to go. Follow me, she said, and guided Santa and his reindeer to the woods. They set the sleigh down and Lumi started to search for the spots where Mila had found the collar. She sniffed the ground and the trees until eventually she led Santa to the right place. Santa blew a tiny golden whistle, but Lumi couldn't hear a thing. Then all of a sudden, a beautiful reindeer come bounding through the trees. Dasher, cried Santa with glee as the reindeer nuzzled into his chest. Santa took the collar from Lumi and placed it around Dasher's neck. I'm so glad we found you. It's a good job Lumi was here to help. Thank you, Lumi, said Dasher. I was racing with my brother in the woods and my collar must have fallen off. Santa hopped back into his sleigh and checked his watch. 
crinkling crackers, he said. We need to leave now if we are going to deliver all the presents on time. Next on the list is a little girl called Mila, said Santa. Lumi's face lit up with joy. Well, I can certainly help you find that house, she said, and off they went. Santa and Lumi climbed down the chimney with some presents for Mila and her family. Lumi crept quietly back into her bed and fell asleep, exhausted after her magical journey. Mila and her family woke up on Christmas morning to find some presents waiting for each of them. There was even something extra special under the tree for Lumi. The end.